Uh, the road from the village climbs above the mists to the wide ledge on which the abbey is perched. A light dusting of snow covers the trees and the rocky earth. The gravel road passes between two, uh, between two small stone outbuildings, to either side of which stretches a five-foot-high, three-foot-thick wall of jumbled stones held together with mortar. Blocking the road are iron gates attached to the outbuildings by rusty hinges. They appear to be unlocked. Viewed through the gates, the stone abbey stands quiet. Its two wings are joined by a 15-foot-high curtained wall. A belfry protrudes from the rooftop to the, close nor the closer north wing, which also supports a chimney, billowing gray smoke. I'm really sorry about that, guys. No, it's fine. Uh, were there any guards visible here? Uh, let's see. No, you don't see anybody. Well, in that case, I think we should just head on in. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll go to open the gate. <clears throat> the gate makes a lot of a noise. You hear this rusty squeak as it starts moving back. And then uh, from from next to you, uh, hold on one second, I put the hat but from right next to you from over here you hear a snort and so huh what where i'm not yeah. having a good yeah. feeling about this place voice. guys you, you hear a voice from behind the wall but kind of um ha half mumble muffled and somewhat mumbly uh, who's out there wow, Travelers. really terrible defense yeah i'm not thinking this place is on Travelers? Uh, okay. Oh. Kitty, <laughs> Kitty's gonna yell, it's the Count Strahd. <laughs> what? <laughs> See if I get any kind of rise out of the What? <laughs> you, hear, you hear kind of a scream, and then you hear what sounds like a barking, a barking sound from, 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 from the inside of that wall. I know. <laughs> ah, just let's start look at fucking Kitty. So, uh, then you hear a, a clunk and, and, and somebody fall, falling. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, you're hearing somebody else go snort and go, uh, what? <laughs> yeah, God guys, guys, I don't think this place. No, it's a holy place. Now. It's a holy Come place. Come on, they're supposed to be guarding. They're both asleep. It's a holy place. You think Cap Stride is going to yell out that he's here? No, he'll just come in and kill them. <laughs> They've been dead already. God, these people are terrible. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a holy place. This is a safer. Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> but from from uh, inside this, uh, the Canadian, you hear somebody yell, "Hey, who's there?" Otto, did I hear you? Otto's <laughs> dead. We ate him. <laughs> What? No! <laughs> God damn it! I'm no. And uh, uh, and uh, as uh, as you guys are are standing there laughing, you see this bizarre figure just come stumbling out of that gatehouse, and it's starting shrieking across across to the other side. Hold on, I'll show you the picture. This guy's picture. It's easier oh just God, to show you the picture. Oh my his friend is dead. <laughs> He should have ran the other direction. He even <laughs> well, at least he's brave enough to go check to go try to save his friend. Fuck you, fill him out. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what the? <laughs> Sig freak, more like sick freak. Oh god. Oh, like, god. Oh, no, oh, no. You, don't, you don't look eaten. Can I, can I move up here and like look in in the room? Yes, you can. I'm, I'm going inside of here. Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna move up and like look in the uh, guard thing. And be like, um, excuse me. <laughs> Felix, Felix just gonna back off when he sees this, guys. I don't see my character. Can you like move me here? Wait, you're what? there. You're above Irina. I yeah, we'll but my like, uh, my character sheet is over. <laughs> Thank you. There, I can get it. They want to move right here. What is that? A fucking half bear, half lizard? Excuse Looks me. Looks like he's gotten bit by more than one wear thing. Give me one second. I'll, I'll show up the picture of the other one. Oh, what, it's gonna be the other half. <laughs> no, he's gonna be. He's gonna... 
He's gonna start crying. He's like, no, he's dead. And then he's gonna wake up. Oh, oh god. This is not a holy place. That is inbred. <laughs> That's it. We're, le we're leaving. We're leaving. Turn around. Fuck this place. Fucking <laughs> <Okay>, hey. <laughs> Phil is gonna go and try to throw up. <laughs> hey, kitty, I thought, didn't you have a furry fetish? Come on. What is that? I'll do a constitution saving throw. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll help cool. it throw up. The bridge of his nose all this time. What? Olgar has been holding the bridge of his nose, you know, the part between the eyes, all this time. <laughs> I'm gonna just turn <laughs> this way because they're not paying fucking attention, are they? No, the 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 the, the hooded one is is consoling his dog faced friend. Yeah, no, like, I'm you know... walking towards the thing without their permission. I'm gonna just be like holding my face, like oh. oh face. By the way, uh, it turns out as you look closely at the uh, at Zygriff, it turns out that's not a male after all. That's a woman. <laughs> oh. Oh, dude, they're their boyfriend and girlfriend. This is your boyfriend. There we go. I just throw up again. Ha, <laughs> natural one. I throw up again. Phil, the one who was saying this is a holy place, come on, get stop! <laughs> I love it! Get out of here. Let's go. I'm gonna go find the main entrance while you guys deal with this bullshit. Full is the curve is long and you're looking at the cliff. I, I, I'm gonna actually like stick with with uh with Irina, <laughs> and just be like, ah, I'm not sure about this place. Out of character. Let's just all leave and go go to Castle of Ravenloft. It'll just end right now. <laughs> why why are your what? people so ugly? I wanna ask you. Oh god! <laughs> that is so <laughs> You're just gonna walk in and be like, why are you ugly? <laughs> Holy uh, shit. This is almost backtracking to a few episodes ago when we were having this discussion about races and people talk about me being a white tiefling and all that. Are you inbred as fuck? Uh, see, the, the cloaked woman, uh, as, as you now have noticed that it is definitely a woman, uh, pulls her cloak more closely around herself and seems to be wanting to cry. Well, the uh, dog-faced one with the dog, with, with the, the, uh, the weird look, okay. Uh, the the other like one. A donkey butt or something. Yeah, the dog faced one uh, is squat rather than standing upright. He looks like a beardless dwarf with patches of donkey flesh covering his face and body. He has one human ear and one wolf ear and a protruding wolf snout and fangs. His arms and hands are human, but his legs and feet are leonine. And he has a donkey's tail. Where donkey? Yeah, he, he basically glares out, out, out at you and steps in front, in, in front of her. How dick dare I'm gonna, you! I'm gonna just kick he, he he makes this this kind of gruff this gruff sound that's barely understood. I am the best looking of us all. How dare you I have, I have a, my I character? A, I have a thing I want to do if it's possible, Grizz. Okay. I want to cast Sacred Flame right here in between them and be like, "Yo, you do not touch my friend." Otto uh, squeaks and this kind of the the the, the, the the donkey, the wolf guy thinks and goes in there, and the cloaked one goes back in there to consult to console him. They didn't answer me. Um, I may no, not have heard you. He tried to fight you because you were a dick. Well, it didn't <laughs> sound like you were ugly. Fight you. He was just growling at him for saying so. Like they're obviously cursed. I mean. I'm gonna ask Irina if she saw that, like, if she saw them at all, and if she knows what the hell, anything about this place. She, she looks over at Kitty and shakes her head. She doesn't have any clue. I had no idea that the Abbey was like this, but she points out that it it is, a, as what Phil was saying, even though Phil is now over there throwing up, <laughs> but this is a sacred place. I imagine that takes in all sorts of, sorts of people. Those cursed, the, those inflicted with something. Uh, Davos and Fed, you're currently standing among the grave, uh, uh, standing close to the graveyard. Stunted pine trees grow out of the rocky earth in the graveyard near the foundation of the abbey's north wing. The windows of the structure are cracked panes 
of leaded glass. The ancient gravestones burst from a thin crust of snow in the yard. Below the low wall that surrounds the graveyard, the ground falls away. The village lies 400 feet below, and the view is breathtaking. <clears throat> the view here is breathtaking, guys. Come and see. You're lucky we didn't have to roll initiative. You uh, the view over the view over here is quite breathtaking as well. It also contains your breakfast. Yeah, I, was, I swear to God. I swear to fucking Edel. <coughs> <sighs> fucking. Where's the priest? Where's the? <laughs> Yeah, Normal where's people. where's the people in charge here? The cloak, the, the cloaked woman, um, pulling her cloak up tighter around her face so you can, it's harder to make out her features, comes out comes out of there, and and basically points one of her bizarre hands towards the this direction. The abbot is is that way. Pray you be nicer to him than you are to us. Sorry, Goes back into to comfort Odo. Olgar stops like five feet before passing through the gates and like ponders for a minute about the concepts of bring of him stepping into a church, giving of what he is. Third kid, He's never actually really stepped in, in a church that much, given. Listen. <laughs> You're less of a freak than these people are. I, I feel the same. Just grab a hold of you and pull you in. You seeing this to Irene? No, no, I'm no, no it's not Irene. Hold on. Fucking hell. Wow. Yeah, I'm like, why are you calling Irene a freak? <laughs> well, you're no. standing right next to Irene, and Irene, you're bringing Irene to this Abbey originally, so. No, no, no. I heard Fulgar, like, hesit uh, hesitated, so I just go walk back to him. Well, Kitty's the one that's still standing fully outside. Yeah, I would just escort her, go in with her. Like, I would follow Irina. Like, she's kind of... Now that she sees weird shit, she's going to stick close to her to keep her safe. Yeah, I'm she's got, still kind of shaken not... up after after what happened. I'll keep try to be keeping my features hidden, and then I'll go in. I really don't think you need to worry about, you know... Thinks it's just the concept of having a devil in a church. Yeah, well, they got like freaking lizard, donkey, squirrel things, whatever those guys are. Yeah, you're the you're probably the least ugly thing here. Not too sure about that. And then that's I, I give like a cheery smile and be like, "Yeah, I know, I'm I'm amazing." I'm not gonna stay very close to four because I'm kind of scared that he's gonna. Explode in flames or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, the team meme gets trolled again. <clears throat> Even Grizz died. No, I'm here. No, I was laughing so much that it you know, affects my voice a little bit. <laughs> the moment you're a retard and have Phil to save you. Uh, uh, oops, uh, I'm doing that. Well, after a joke, she just got fat for a minute. <laughs> did you did you pull in drag instead of uh? Yeah. Yeah, I read basically boldly heads up to the top of the front of the abbey. Oh, I'm for following. For a second, I mean. we see her take up ten feet. <laughs> I am following, I mean, keeping close, like looking around me like this is a holy place, right? Well, I mean, they are here to help the damned. Maybe those people, you know, are still good, even though they're pretty Maybe our, our, uh, our famous dick. <laughs> is this a window? That was the funniest thing ever, but holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. All right. The, the Abbey entrance again. Um, this is I meant to read this now instead of earlier. The fifteen foot high curtain wall joins the Abbey's two wings. Behind its battlements, two guards stand at attention. Their features obscured by fog. 
Below them, set into the walls, a pair of t ten foot tall wooden doors reinforced with bayonet steel. To the right of these doors, mounted on the walls, a tarnished copper plaque. The plaque reads, May her light cure all illnesses. Whoever wrote that didn't really see the town, no, did he? Uh, did you say we could see guards here? What appears to be guards th th in the battlements, yeah. Uh, I can, I can notice one from over here, apparently, with the dynamic lighting. Where are you? I, I see one from here. I was just wondering I if, nothing. I can't even if see I anything. have a description on it. Well, it said they're obscured by fog. So. All oh, right. Sorry. Missed that. I could technically get rid of that. What? Anyone right, else want to open the main door? I'll do well, it. Well, I'm going to call uh, out to the guards. You, could do, you, could, you can always roll a reception check. Is it locked? I can't open it. <laughs> well, do we want to just walk into their thing without asking for permission? It's probably not wise. Okay, okay. Fed. As you look closely, you're probably gonna laugh. You immediately notice that it, they're not actually people. They're not actually people, or even those weird mutants that you saw earlier. They're just scarecrows wearing corroded chain shirts and clutching rusted spears. I'm yeah, I turn to, to Phil and be like, "Let Kitty go in first. I'm not gonna oh. tell him what I saw. I'm just gonna say, let Kitty go in first, and then like, say, freak the fuck. I'm out. gonna, I'm gonna knock on the door of the. I'm gonna like bang on the door. I'm gonna drag Trust the piece me, over there. I had no intention of going in first. As, as you knock on the door, it just seems to respond to your fists and moves slightly out of your way. Uh, oops. Yeah, where's that? <sighs> All right. Eh, I'll just move the entire thing. Ah, I'll just move the entire dynamic lighting thing because I can't see the spin. Dial on it. Bong. Bong. No. No. Bong. <laughs> Those weirdos are the only people living here. I will have the last one. <laughs> I guess uh, uh, if the door opens, I'm gonna go in. Yeah. Uh, kitty, be careful. Uh. <sighs> Oh, God. I literally have nothing to buff, so. Uh... I'm fine. It'll be fine. We're good. I don't know. This may be choking in. All right, uh, going I, I, in here. Uh, I'm inside. Kitty, no. <laughs> I would eat it. I'm. I'm in there. Let's eat my face. <laughs> nothing. The thick fog that fills this courtyard swirls as if eager to escape. The courtyard is surrounded by a 15-foot-high curtain wall on which stand several guards with their backs to you. Or so they seemed at first. It's not clear that these are all scarecrows. But not the like kind the that attack... No, not, not like the kind that, you, that attacked you. More like the kind that was sitting in the, uh, the, 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 the kind of scarecrow that you saw in the wine, the wine yard earlier. You know, the ones attached to poles and, you know, scaring off... The yeah. inanimate ones that are, yes. like... Uh, I'm just gonna call out. Wooden doors to the north and east lead to the abbey's two wings. In the center of the courtyard is a stone well fitted with an iron winch to which a rope and bucket are attached. Along the perimeter, tucked under the overhang wall, are several stone sheds with padlocked wooden doors, as well as three shallow alcoves that contain wooden troughs. Two wooden posts pounded into the rocky earth have iron rings bolted to them, and the chain and and chained to one of them is a short humanoid with bat wings and spider mandibles. The quiet is shattered by horrible screaming coming from the sheds. Jesus. Yeah, you're not staying here, Irina. I'm sorry. Uh, I think I could keep you safer than these fuckers. I think we were like Stick you in a fucking shed? I feel as you're standing here being baffled. I'm gonna go uh, walk over to the weird bug person and, like, try to talk to it. I'm cranking yeah, the one over here. Nice. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna get close enough that it can get at me. Like, I'm gonna observe and see how, like, get an idea of how. Alright. The creature chained to the post flaps its leathery wings and takes to the air, but doesn't get far before its chains go taut. As, uh, as it does, you can tell that it's definitely a female. She flutters about madly, screaming nonsense. And as Ooh. she sees you. She she goes. She starts trying to fly to the opposite side of her tether and land, scrunching up. 
folding her wings around herself. Do, do you guys like want me to talk to it, or uh, are you good? Because like I all talk to it. It's like Jesus. What is up with this place? Like, are they just trying to? Is there are there any other doors going inside? Like, I know there's all these little sheds you said, but there's no like. I'm guessing all these little doors are sheds with like weirdos in them. Like all these little doors, uh, I can't my arrow. The, like this door here and that door there. They're all like the little sheds that you were describing. Yeah, the sheds are definitely the. They look, um, they look like they they used to be chicken coops at one at one point, but are apparently yeah. now housing something else entirely. Do I see a lock on, like, attached to the chain? Um, no, it looks like it's just bolted directly to the ground. How, how big is the chain? Mm, I'd say standard. So, uh, so you're gonna let that thing loose? So Fed. it can be broken. Fed. Think about it. So it it's can gonna, be broken. like, carry you off and devour you. You're small enough. It appears to be scared of you guys. So it can be broken, is what you're saying. Well, I'm saying if there's a uh, if, if there's a picture of it. Ah, there is. Oh, great! That's what it needed. Oh no, wait. There's just a there's just a named uh, a named thing for it. There isn't a um. What's it called? Does it have a name? Uh, uh, you don't it. know. You you don't know her name, but no, there actually isn't a handout for her, unfortunately. So, in in DM log, you think it can be broken? <laughs> Yes. Uh, okay. Description. Description. Since I can't even show you a picture. Um, there's th this character stands four feet five inches tall and has a hunched posture, which is currently you know, pulling around herself. Long stringy black hair hides much of her face, but clearly visible are the spider mandibles and teeth that replace her human mouth. She has arms and wings of a bat, as well as cloven hooves in place of her right foot. She doesn't allow. And she's not allowing anyone to get close enough. To to win, sorry, she's not letting you guys get close enough to do it. She, as soon as you get that close, she reaches out and tries, you know, basically that's the cat thing of trying to paw at you, but not really. You know, basically the go away, go away, go away gesture that a cat does. Yeah. And do again, shrieking not, thing? she's shrieking nonsense at, no, she, uh, but as soon as she sees you coming that close, she moves around so the chain is now behind her, and she does the, the, the cat go away. Uh, arm, you know, paw, pawing at you thing. Hmm. Bulgar, you're the, you're the nicest one here. You mind trying to talk to it? Because I'm not sending Davos in. Why are you on me? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, you know, one freak to another. Wow. Like, you kind you kind of said it yourself. Uh, it's it's it is true. Like it looks sad and afraid, and kind of like you. Ah. Uh. Plus, if it hits you, you can just blow it up. Yeah, oh, I'd this. rather it would not. Phil, if you're sneaking behind it, why don't you break the chain? Maybe it'll be happy that we set it free, and then we'll have to kill it. No, I'm just going to, to listen if there's anything behind these doors. Um, yeah, that's where the shrieking's coming from. Oh. Yeah, it's like freak storage. Oh, shriek yeah, this storage. Is the, the, sorry, those are the sheds where all the shrieking's coming from. Oh, <laughs> can you see no, I'm gonna uh, move over to oh. one of the doors and see if like there's any like cracks I can peek through. If someone yeah, that's just the, that's just the, the the ladders that get up to those little scarecrows that are okay, making well, then, it look then, like the scarecrows. Whatever. If this is one here, yeah, that is. Are there any? Are they, what, no, that's an actual. Door. That appears to be an actual door. Hold on, it's probably a description. One second. Well, you better put your hood up just in case whoever's doing this comes. Yeah, the, you're gonna throw you in a shed. The door, the door can be opened. I, I am completely like, like I uh, hood is really up. I'm opening the door the that I'm standing, standing by and sticking my head inside. Ah, hold on one second. My mouse is going crazy. One second. Sorry about that.
<sighs> it's loading, loading, loading. All the southern loading. Right when I need to actually do something. Hooray! It's just chatting. <sighs> hey, when that happens. That's one of the reasons I, I prefer, you know, a voice thing rather than just using the internal. Okay. Door squeaks open. It's also unlocked. And you can see the following inside here. This room used to be an office, as evidenced by the remains of a desk and a chair, both of which have been smashed to pieces. A hallway to the south, um, which I'm actually guessing this is another one of those twisted maps. Uh, the hallway to the south leads to a staircase going up, which means this is, uh, this, according to the, the way the map is, would be the south. The dark passage to the east, which is this one to our north. Uh, it's full of unnatural whispers, mad laughter, and bestial odors. Which means there's probably a lot more of those things in there, but these ones probably are less insane. Probably. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm going inside. I'm looking for somebody to talk to. Uh, there's also another door all the way over here, by the way, in this courtyard. Yeah, I was thinking about that one. <sighs> you know what, I'm gonna hang back. I'm just gonna stay with Irene. If she doesn't move up, I'll stick around her. Yeah, Irene's just basically kind of looking around. I'm still inspecting this creature. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out my crossbow. I'm Oh, you better fucking not. <laughs> um, I just saw a, a token appear and then disappear instantly. Grizz, you better fucking- Oh! <laughs> this is these two again. The two that you saw earlier as Kitty enters into that part of the building uh, finally, uh, apparently have calmed down enough and have come running, running in this direction. It, uh, the uh, the cloaked one is waving her arms. Don't 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 go that way. She she calls out towards Kitty and Davis. We're all a little racist. Why? <laughs> because they're not re ready to see normal people. Why? No no. Oh. If you want to talk to the abbot? She she, she continues. You have to come this way, with us. We, we shouldn't have let you go on, but you you scared Odo so much. And then you... She, she kind of hides her head some more and can't finish her statement. Come this way. Come this way. Kind of like Igor and, you know. Alright, fine. <laughs> and she, she's waving frantically over at Fed as well. Leave her alone. Come, th come on. This way. Well, Fed... I'm only coming because Phil told me to. Oh, God. Come on, Irene. No, stay there. <laughs> yeah, that could be very poor. All right, I'm going to turn to the uh, Fed. Jump down, to, jump down the well. <laughs> no, don't do that! As you look down into... Okay. Uh, Fed, as you climb up onto the side of the well and look down, even as, as uh, the, the, woman, the woman in the cloak is yelling at you to stop... Uh, you can see that there's something down there. It's it's skeleton on the inside of the well is gazing up at you, trying to as it tries to cling to the wall, gr I'm gonna grinning cast at light, you. Like, like I'm gonna cast light, not not as strong as like to blind it, but you see to, like, that it the the, the creature down there has three red spider eyes on the right side of its face, where the left side appears to be human. It has a, a frog's foot in the place of its left hand, and a taloned crow's foot where its right foot should be. What the fuck is wrong with this place? I, I throw up on <laughs> Irina, I am not leaving you here. There's obviously something wrong with the water. I pass out and fall backwards, too. Dude, don't fall in the well. No, I fall backwards. Fed is not now lying on the ground unconscious. Um, and you can, you can, you can hear him up like a baby, and, and you can hear shrieking, mad, mad shrieking coming from the inside of this well, where where um, the, the the cloaked woman and the, and the weird wolf faced guy are both kind of 
doing face palms as fast as they can. Why the fuck did it have to be spiders? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna pick Fed up and carry him like a Leave baby. Leave him alone! Like, we'll just get inside. The, the woman I'm a, I'm a, screams out at you. Face face she appears to be very irate that you're bothering what? whatever's in the well. Let, let's just get inside. <laughs> oh, let's get Phil I just wanna know what the fuck is going on here. There's a lot of fuck. As we're walking, I'm just gonna ask these people. This is a holy place, right? Fuck no. Of course! No, it isn't! The abbot takes care of us. She she says. I I assume you people are here for healing or or. Yes, the abbot takes care of us. Ow. Why are they locked up then? For their own good and to keep people like you safe. I'm a, I'm gonna like cast sacred flame directly in front of them. I don't <laughs> need protection. I got. She's I'm kind of glaring at you now from behind her cowl. Her her, her cowl. And she's just finished opening the door. Stop trying to kill the weirdos. Come on, let's go talk to the abbot. <laughs> you hear the gentle sound you. of music trickling down from from, a, from above Oop. in the hall. Oop. Played go. by okay. a single string, si single string instrument by some unseen master. The ground floor is large. 50 foot square room with an arched leaded glass window. Oh. A cauldron sits on an iron rack above the fire in a hearth, while above the fireplace middle hangs a golden disc engraved with a symbol of the sun. In one corner, a wooden staircase climbs to the upper level, while in another corner, a stone staircase descends into darkness. Several chairs surround a wooden table that stretches nearly the length of the room. Wooden dishware and gold candelabras are neatly arranged on the table, standing behind which is a young woman with alabaster skin, dressed in a torn and solid, soiled red gown. Her auburn hair is neatly bundled so as to not touch her soft shoulders. She seems lost in her own thoughts. Next to her, a handsome young man in brown monk robes gently takes, the, takes her by the hand. A painted wooden holy symbol that depicts the sun hangs from a chain around his neck. He moves with the grace of a saint. He smiles somewhat up at you as you approach. Ah, uh, finally, a man of God. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm going to open with the... what? What is going on here? Uh, we've met some of your... Oh, this was a... Uh, uh, hey, who are you? Who are you? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> well, I mean, we're approaching him. He's not coming at us. Yeah, that's the point. Well, yeah. Uh, I think oh, I might boy. have a picture of him. Let me see. If, let me see if I do. Ah. Uh, oh, no, this isn't a name in NPCs. Alright. Oh well. I was hoping there was a handout. He, he nods his head towards toward you. Welcome. Welcome. And what brings you here today? How is that? You don't auto lock uh, on the square thing? <laughs> well, we had. Thought these, these are giant. I think these are basically. It's been. Um, when the map was created and done that, the, the, map, the squares are actually on the map, but the needed space. For this particular um, setting, uh, requires the map to be twice as big as the normal. So, as such, the squares are actually larger than the squares that are in Roll Twenty. They're ten feet squares. Yeah. Mm. And you can hold Alt, I believe, based on what you want. <sighs> yeah. Okay, wanna... Kitty's gonna say, "Well, we had thought to bring someone seeking asylum here, but now we're thinking that this isn't." Probably the appropriate place for her. Have other he asylum looks seekers. He looks <sighs> o o over at the woman, uh, at the woman Irene, and starts not nodding a bit at this. I see. I take it you have problems with Strad. How did you guess? Hmm. No, that is usually the reason. No, sit, sit, my dear. She, he, he d gently lowers the, the, the strange, strange pale woman into a seat next to him, and she goes compliantly. Please sit, all of you. She, he gestures to the table, and it looks like he, it will not, um, speak to you further until you are in a seat. A little white soul is coming out of my mouth as I'm on the table, passed out. Yeah, K Kitty's gonna like plop him on the table, like since you had picked him up and carried him in there, uh, and then sit down. 
and like kind of sit with her with her elbows on the table and her and her hand, and her, uh, like in I'm listening kind of mode. <laughs> Alright. Um, no shot. Let's try to just move your character tokens then. Yeah, you can move me. Or I'll move. I'll pick it. Yeah, just. Okay. Alright. Well. Perhaps we can help each other then. Oh. This is the silica. The silica. He gestured. He puts an, a, a hand nicely on the, uh, the woman's back for a moment just to show her off. She used to, to be Strahd's bride that could perhaps bring about a transformation in Strahd. She used to be Strahd's bride? She, she, he kind of looks, looks at Phil for a moment. No, she will be Strahd's bride. We have made her perfect to be everything he needs to guide him gently into goodness away from this darkness that he's crowded this land in. Yeah, well, you got a bit of a problem with that because he's after her, and he and Kitty points it. How did you make her? At uh, Irina. Oh, it took a lot, a, lo a lot of work, my friend, quite a bit, and some people will not be very happy about how, but it is the best for this land. He looks over at Irina, Irina and nods. Yes, it. If Strahd can cho can choose, the. <clears throat> Can choose the silica here as as his new bride, as his forever bride. He will stop looking for for the soul of Titania. Yeah, but he already knows. It, it seems like he already knows that this is Titania. Yes, indeed. I can see it in her. So, how do you just propose to distract him from her? To ensure that the silica here is a proper bride for him, and for that, she will need a proper bridal grant. Uh, Bridal gown. I'm hoping you you can help me locate one, and if you can, I will allow you to cast Raise Dead up to three times. I can already do that. You're a level three character with Raise the is Raise Dead. No, next level <laughs> I get it. I'm just saying I'm gonna be able to do that. Unless you die. Unless I die, yeah. And I can also give you the benefit of my healing touch. You need well, where, where, are you, where do you need us to get this dress at? Well, I quite imagine you'll be able to, you might be able to find one in town, perhaps, or at least talk to somebody who does. And if not, there are other towns nearby, I imagine. You can find one. We're not exactly good to go back to Malaki for a while. Hmm. He ponders for a moment. Do any of you have the skills required to make a dress, perhaps? He looks at each of you in turn. Uh, I know how to smash things. The most I've done is, like, made a small I know how to disguise, but I do not know how to make. I make an illusion of a dress. No, it needs yeah, a real dress. It needs to be a real dress. I've made cloth, that's it. So, nope. Oh, I have a, a Genome tuxedo. Yeah, that's not a... <laughs> a... <laughs> I mean, we can see if we can find one in town, but uh, they seemed a little upset at us, because... Uh... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think Strahd kind of attacked a lake. Mm, yeah, he, I see. Uh, that, was that, no that, that was that noise I heard earlier. I guess... But still, that is only a symptom of the greater problem. And the <clears throat> and the silica here, he extends his hand again, can help fix that problem, therefore destroying all the symptoms in the, as a result. But silica. Does she, yeah. Does she Is actually it? want this want this? Yeah, I'm gonna ask. His, his, uh, he looks confused for a moment as you ask such a question. He, he doesn't, as if he doesn't understand how to respond to that. Well, Silica, you didn't say nothing. What do you have to say about this? Her eyes just basically stare forward blankly, looking, not exactly looking at you, even though they haven't moved. She has yet to blink in your presence. 
She she's like those dolls that that guy yeah, had. Some, something's wrong here. If she's real. I want to touch her. That is like, not her. Davos, don't you fucking. Dare. Oh god, you'll get us all killed. <laughs> hey, at least it won't be me for the first time. <laughs> so like every other time was you. Shit. Yeah, you forgot. She's real. She she is real. She her, her flesh is fairly cold to the touch, but she is real. Wait, is she dead? Dude, she, is she a zombie? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to tell. Um, I would imagine you want you want to do a perception check in regards to Basilica at this point. Do we all or yes? I will perceive <laughs> well, Phil, Phil saw everything. I will perceive her good. I'm gonna I got an eye for women. <laughs> so you swing both ways, kid. Type, type, type. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, she has something. I'm gonna perceive as I can see salt. Nope. Can't even see salt. Okay. <laughs> uh, Hold on, I'm gonna make sure I, I put that to the wrong to the oops. I was about to send that to the wrong person. Okay. All the F names, darn it. And two of them yeah, two three words. Uh, as he talks to Hey, if that should just put Fedrin just to be Hold hold on. Uh, let, let me finish writing what let me talk. <clears throat> okay, let me fix all of the spelling mistakes that I have in here, because I'm a horrible speller. Oh, don't worry, I'm fluid in... Uh, in misspelling? Spelling mistakes. Yay, some people aren't. I call it retardation. Wow. <laughs> I've never I don't been good I don't mean to be rude, that's just what I call it. Then Phil has a choice of whether or not he wants to react to this or tell anybody else what he sees. Uh, well, you uh, I'll, just, I'll just stand up and like <laughs> point at her. Uh, are those. Is she stitched together? Oh, Frankenstein up in here. Great. Uh, is that stitches <laughs> on her neck and arm and. What? <laughs> The, the the abbot kind of like looks over at you and says, "Be at peace, my son." Yes, of course. I said I made her. This is not. A so you're like a necromancer, place. abbot. You're. This is not a holy place. <laughs> she gazes. He gazes <laughs> so over at Kitty. Place. Of course, I'm not a necromancer. Well, you brought some lady back from the dead. Oh, oh you did not. No, I did not. Multiple ladies. I did not. Multiple ladies. I did not bring her back from the dead. I created her. I, I well, out of bed, people, right? Roll an arcana, roll an arcana check to remember what that means. <laughs> Melody arcana. This is so fucked up. Uh, Roll arcana is poop. Who should roll? Roll Melody arcana. Yeah, no, I was about roll. to ask about that. I think I, I might have an idea. I'm not, I'm not gonna roll. Uh -huh. I don't know shit about magic. You can also I just make a get. Okay. Oh. Boom. I know enough magic to like make shit go boom sometimes, but. But how would Davos know about magic? I don't know. He's just knows. No. Oh. Went through a lot of books studying. Uh, guys, I think I know what she is. She's a flesh boom. An automaton. What it's I thought. All right. So where did you get the flesh to make her? Oh, I had I had my Mongol folk here to dig th up the graves. Oh, so wait, wait, are, so, right. so are these what? mongrel folk like things you made too, or? Oh no, they they they, they are me merely disfigured people. How did they get that way? Like, uh, should I not drink the water or eat the food here? <laughs> oh no, I, I had you curse them. Out of character, we're gonna have to kill this guy. Like, fuck. Wait, wait, what? wait. You, wait, you curse them? He nods, but he doesn't. He doesn't seem to be upset at the, the fact that you're asking him this. Wait, wait, wait! wait you cursed these people. You made them this way. Yes, of course. They were terrible people, but once upon a time. 
Wait, what? <laughs> they no were bad people, this. so you made them ugly? What the fuck? You yes, desecrated graves. You turned people into monsters. Phil, you... this is where me and you jump up and kill a bitch. Because <laughs> I'm already standing up. And I'm, go I'm, I'm like reaching I'm, for I'm, my sword. Kitty wants just... to walk over to Irene and pick her up and just carry her out of here. Nope. 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 This, nope. this is literally nope. against everything Phil nope. stands for. Nope. Phil! Roll a, um, Phil and, and Fedrin, roll a, um, a knowledge divinity. What the fuck is that? Religion, Religion check. Religion. Religion check. Great one, I have plus one. Okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't get it. How are you guys both, like, clerics and paladins and, like, have no religion? Because I was dumb and put it into strength. I because, I be using that. Hey, because I have negative one in intelligence. It's it's also by the fact that Phil is a farmer and not very aware of his paladin powers, so it makes a bit more sense. Uh, to him. yeah, I guess that makes sense. I'm an acolyte. I have to have religion. I thought it'd be more of my intelligence. And since you know, Fedrin's an acolyte, he's studying to religion, so he knows more. <laughs> Does make sense religion. for once? <laughs> um, Phil? Yes? I, you, you don't see this, do you? No? Um, the flesh look, thing? Look, look closer at it, please. Of the I abbot. Look closer. It's, this, 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 this is about the abbot. Oh, it's... I look closer at the abbot. Fed might have um... to whisper in your ear. <laughs> Oh. Uh, okay. I, I'm I'm only telling Phil right now. So yeah. What the fuck? Oh man, I think I'm gonna do anything else. You're freaking behind it. I'm gonna get out and like start walking to the door. I'm not liking this place. Okay. Uh. Uh. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry. Phil just goes, Phil just goes, reaching for his sword, but then he just goes, fucking run. <laughs> yeah, fuck that, we're out. <laughs> Kitty, pick me up and go. No, I'm grabbing Irina <laughs> by the arm and just dragging her. Like, like Son of uh, a bitch. <laughs> Come on, bitch! Fucking <laughs> run, bitch! <laughs> run! Jesus! Oh. Right. Yeah, let's get out of here. If I already said it. I was picking Irina up and just noping out of here because it's getting too weird. I know you guys don't know what's going on, but fucking run! <laughs> fucking run! <laughs> get the fuck out of here! I'm pushing these people down, down to the ground if they're in front of me. <laughs> just bowling over the two weirdos. Yeah. The two readers out there kind of blinking. He was your run past. Ah, I'm gonna cast like light, right? Yeah, let's just here get off. out of here. So, like, block Why are you running? Like, just keep <laughs> running. <laughs> just keep <laughs> running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Let's just say we run out of the abbey. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're out. We're out. We're out. Fuck this. Nope, nope, nope. Fucking nope, hell. Nope, nope. No. <laughs> no. I'm put my hand on Phil's shoulder out of breath. Be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Why are you putting your hand on Phil's shoulder unless he's carrying it? <laughs> he's okay. carrying him. He's riding him like piggyback. <laughs> fuck. His I'm little really... legs are too short to run. You don't... <laughs> I, I trip back here. <laughs> Poor Fed. Because what def the? I'm definitely in back with a 25 movement speed. What the fuck was that? Sorry, we gotta keep moving. Run. <laughs> fuck yeah, why are you running? Wait. <laughs> Kitty's like trying to catch your breath and be like, wait, why are we running? What's... <laughs> we're just gonna have this as the being outside the abbey and heading down the hill. Yeah, we're just like catching, like like half halfway down the hill, catching our breath. Like, wait, why are you running? The fuck? Ben, do you want to explain? Nope, dying here. <laughs> Keep running. 
<laughs> Let's just go yeah, with you've gotten to the most point where you can't. Most terrifying thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Let's just say you're now outside of the. You know, can no look. You can no longer see the Abbey. Nobody bothered to chase us, right? Like we're just no, nobody chased you. The, the the only thing you saw was the two Mongol folk that you'd seen in the gatehouse earlier, giving you weird looks before you, before one of you blind tried, decided to blind them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I wasn't I wasn't taking any chances. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Just all right, all right. Me. Somebody explain to me why what the fuck is going on here. Please. Fat, you got a better look than me. <laughs> that was not a person. Uh, what? It was a fucking celestial. <laughs> that was not a human. That was no human. <laughs> we are never oh, going back there. Well, what? Wait, wait. Celestials are not bad, though, as far as. He built a person <laughs> out of flesh. The fuck are you he desecrated about? graves. <laughs> he <laughs> put curses on people. Maybe he lost his way. Maybe he we made can a spider him. person and put it in a pit. <laughs> nah, I just hope he doesn't curse us. Yeah, we're fucked. Yeah, that's why we're running, dumbass. I say, I keep running. <laughs> I always wanted a tail, though. So. <laughs> 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 ain't that great. It's uncomfortable when you try to sit sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess we're gonna go back down to town. I'd be much more. Pre pre I prefer if we leave town. I, All right, I do so too. do we want to go look for the seeds? Like, it's probably getting late. We probably need to sleep somewhere. Yeah, fine, fine. But we don't need to sleep I, in town. We can go like sleep body, out in the woods. I'm going to die if if I have mandibles or eyes of a spider. I will look in a mirror and just pass the fuck out. <laughs> <sighs> if I wake up screaming in the middle of the night, don't fucking blame me for having nightmares. Nah, man, that was a celestial. Hey, welcome to my life. I've welcome had nightmares for the past life. two days after seeing my body hang. <laughs> yeah. Phil, for a quick second, I was like, wow, it's so beautiful. And then I realized what the fuck it's doing. Yes, that is not correct in any way. That was fucking great. This is not right. Nothing is right. I hate this place. I hate the people. I hate Wait, everything. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Yo, motherfuckers can die alone. Uh, if we ever stop somewhere, Phil is just gonna fucking huddle up and just have arms over his knees, like fucking walking back and forth. Yeah, fuck that, I'm dying. Negative this... one to uh, fucking phys uh, psychic damage, Jesus. No, this is not right. I'm surprised they didn't chase us, though. I'm su I'm surprised we got out of there alive. <laughs> <laughs> you could talk to